Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySetStamp.com and I have a card that I'm going to be making today using the silhouette but I'll also give you an example um, of where to find one that you could make like it in your Cricut, um, what am I trying to say, your Cricut booklet. So let me show you what the finished card looks like. This is from the silhouette website and so here you have a little circus tent and then when you open it up you have what I think reminds me of a little Madagascar little guy and it says happy birthday and this is from the good time stamp set from cards TV stamps and that's C-A-R-D-Z TV stamps dot and it's got some super cute stamps in there so um, anyway let me show you how to make this I do want to show you another example of this so I cut this out with paper that was already striped and I think it turned out really cute but I would not recommend doing the layers onto this and that's just my personal opinion. The reason being is if you add the layers on top of here I just think it doesn't look right. So I just kind of wanted to show you this just to, so that you guys maybe to save you a little bit of time to not try this would be my recommendation because see how funny that looks just the lines don't line up right so if you're going to do it with striped paper I would just do it with the striped paper and leave it as is because I think that's really cute and as for this not being colored I'm not sure you can try to lay red paper over or blue paper and try to cut your own little flag off of that if you did want to change it a little so the other layers that go with this are the little scallop here so let's get started on a red one so I can kind of show you. So just like the, an example that you have there. So you're going to fold these in like this. And then what you're going to do is take your two blue pieces that will go right alongside here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my little Zig 2A glue pen. This is I think the medium point on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue here and then just add that right here. So there's the first piece and then here is the second piece. I always kind of put it here and then flip it because I can't tell you how many times I've glued the wrong side of that. There we go and I got a little bit of glue on here. I'm just going to get that off so that doesn't stick to my card. Isn't that super cute? And this way you do have a little red flag, which I think is really cute on there. So now the next step we're going to do is this cute little scallop layer. And you can do whatever color you want, but the example that they showed on the silhouette was orange, and I thought that was really cute. So I just kind of went with the same colors that they had. Make sure I got this right here. Okay. And this goes right along the same line as where the corner of this tent is, if that makes sense. So from this corner inward right there. So let's get this other one on here. Okay, and then from this corner, just trying to make sure I line it up here. Looks good. Okay, so from that corner to that corner. Too cute, right? And now, this is the little, what I call the little Madagascar zebra, which I think is super cute. And this here is also from the Good Times stamp set from Cards TV Stamps. And then I just did a little bit of broken china around the outside. This is from Tim Holtz. So for this, I'll just go ahead, since I've got this glue, I'll just go ahead and do a little of this on the back here. Put that down toward the bottom here. So cute. This one I'm going to end up doing for my nephew. His birthday is until September, but I like to, when I see something really cute, I like to just be ahead on things. And who knows, maybe I might have another birthday that I might have forgotten about that I'll use it instead. So there's a little party animal that goes right there. And then We'll close that up and then just add a little bit of ribbon and that's it all finished. I'm not going to add the ribbon right at the moment because I kind of showed you guys that in the beginning. You just thread the ribbon through and tie a little bow, but I think it turned out really cute. 
So um, let me show you what I was talking about here. Here's a couple of them that I've done. Let me show you what I found here in the Cricut book. So on page 47, there is a zebra that's right here. And then on page, let's see, on page 55, here's the tent. So if you weld this together on the Cricut craft room or if you use your gypsy, you can weld this together and make your own little tent card. How I would do it is just weld it either from the top and have the card open from the top like this booklet does in other words open like this or have it from the side and have the card open this way but that's just how I would do it so re my recommendation there and of course if you want to put the elephant inside of it or this cute little peanut inside of it or any of the animals I mean there's some really cute little animals in here so um, anyway a little giraffe little monkey so little hippo so some really cute little ideas that can go inside your tent so just wanted to show you an idea to use your Cricut and for those of you that don't have a silhouette so that you can make your own little tent, circus tent card. So hope you guys are having a great day. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.